Hey guys, Tink here, and in this video I'll be covering how to use Intel's Quick Sync for streaming to Twitch. But first I have to give a big shout out to my buddy Zombie who showed me the basics of Quick Sync and how to get it set up for streaming. And I have his channel linked in the description below, so go check him out. Now this method doesn't give you the best video quality, but it can open the door to help you get started with streaming, especially if you don't have a ton of money to drop on a new top of the line PC. One very important part to using this method is you must have an Intel processor with Quick Sync functionality or this will not work. You can check to be sure that your processor has Quick Sync by going to the Intel Arc website and looking up the model number of your processor. Then scroll down to find the Intel Quick Sync video box and make sure it is marked yes. So, assuming you have a processor with Quick Sync, the first thing you will need to do is get in the UEFI of your motherboard and make sure that the integrated graphics or iGPU is enabled as you can see here. Every manufacturer has a unique way of setting up their own UEFI so not everyone's is going to look like mine does here. But it should be rather easy to find your iGPU settings. Then once you have set it up to enabled, hit F10 to save and restart. So once you have the iGPU setting enabled, you will be ready to rock on setting up your capture software and getting it configured configured to use Quick Sync as the encoder. I use OBS, but you can use OBS Classic or XSplit. I just prefer OBS Studio because of its more user-friendly interface and the ability to edit a scene on the fly and your viewers just think it's a scene change. So after you get your capture software downloaded and installed, you will need to set it up using the following settings. Starting with the Stream tab, set the service to Twitch and the server to the closest one to your location, and then get the Stream key from Twitch and put it in the Stream key box. Moving on to the output tab, change the output mode at the top to advanced so you get to the encoder settings then change the encoder to Quick Sync H264 and set the rescale output to 1280 by 720 Target usage should be set to balanced and profile set to main. Your keyframe interval set to 2 because that's what Twitch recommends. Async depth should be set to 4 rate control set to CBR which stands for constant bitrate and then the bitrate can be a max of 3500 but I recommend setting it to 2000 or 2500 so people with slower internet speeds have an easier time watching your stream. Skipping the audio tab and opening the video tab you will see the top box is your base resolution and that needs to match the monitors resolution that you'll be playing on. Next is the output resolution which is the resolution people will be viewing your stream in and it needs to be set to 1280 by 720. Then we have downscale filter and this has to be set to bilinear which has no pass over and doesn't put such a heavy workload on the hardware and the last setting on this tab is common FPS values which you can set to 30 or 60 FPS quick sync can do both with no problems and lastly we have hotkeys and the advanced tabs and we don't need to change anything in advance and you can go in and set up some hotkeys of your own to make it a little easier to start and stop streaming or recording and to mute and unmute the mic now that all that is done, the only thing left for you to do is set up a scene, add some sources, launch a game, and start streaming. Thank you so much for watching, and once again a big thank you to Zombie, and I will have his channel and all the links to the software and websites I mentioned linked in the video description. So till next time, happy streaming.